All right, let's get real here. I'm talking to all the small business owners that are out there busting their ass trying to make it in a world where corporate giants already have the majority market share. It's hard enough to compete, but some of you are making it even harder on yourselves. You know why? Because some of you are adopting the same corporate ideas like diversity, equity, and inclusion and political correctness in your workplace. And guess what? It's rotting your business from the inside out. Let's talk about it. Here's the thing. Small businesses and big corporations are not the same animal. They don't operate the same. You don't have the same goals, and they sure as hell don't face the same challenges. When you're running a small business, you don't have the luxury of bloated HR departments, multi-million dollar diversity initiatives, or legal teams to navigate the murky waters of political correctness. You're focused on survival, putting food on your table, and keeping the lights on. But hey, why not waste your time on a DEI committee when you could, you know, make sure your customers are happy, innovate your products, or, I don't know, run your damn business? Let's just be honest for a second. DEI and political correctness are corporate PR stunts. Big corporations push these ideas because they want to look good in the public eye. They want to check the right boxes, keep the Twitter mobs happy, and avoid lawsuits. But for a small business, these ideas don't translate into profits. In fact, they usually do the opposite. Look, your goal as a small business isn't to play politics. It's to build something that works. It's to create value for your customers and keep your employees motivated and productive. When you start worrying about hitting some diversity quota or making sure no one is ever offended, you lose sight of what really matters. You're no longer focusing on the quality of your work, the service you provide, or the efficiency of your operations. And that's when the rot sets in. Now let's get into how these corporate ideas actually affect the culture of your workplace in a small business. Your team is everything. You need people who are loyal, hardworking, and committed to the success of the business. But when you start bringing in DEI initiatives or enforcing political correctness, you're creating division. You're focusing on what makes people different rather than what unites them. Instead of fostering a culture of merit where people are rewarded based on their skills and work ethic, you're telling people that they're special because of their gender, race, or sexual orientation. And guess what happens next? Resentment. People start to feel like they're being overlooked or undervalued, not because they're not performing, but because they don't fit the right identity group in your eyes. Yeah, that's exactly what you need. You need more resentment in a workplace where you're already strapped for resources and employees. Now let's talk about political correctness. Political correctness is a creativity killer, plain and simple. It makes people afraid to speak their minds, share ideas, or challenge the status quo because they're too worried about offending someone or saying the wrong thing. And you know what happens in an environment like that? People shut down. Innovation dries up. You can't have an open dialogue when everyone's walking on eggshells. Small businesses thrive on innovation. They survive on being agile, being able to pivot and adapt to changing circumstances. But when you let political correctness dictate how people talk and interact, you're shutting down that creative flow. You're telling your employees that it's more important to be nice and polite than it is to be honest and forward thinking. And that that is the death of a small business. And you know what? Let's not even forget the sheer distraction the DEI initiatives create. You don't have the time or the resources to be sitting in meetings about how to make your workforce more diverse or how to make sure everyone's feeling validated. You need to be out there finding customers, closing deals, and growing your business. DEI is a distraction from the real work that needs to be done. Focusing on DEI is like rearranging the deck chairs on the Titanic. It might make you feel good for a minute, but your business is still sinking if you're not paying attention to the bottom line. Diversity, equity, and inclusion are buzzwords that sound great in theory, but in practice, they're not helping you pay your bills or keep your employees happy. 
I've seen this firsthand, working in both large and small companies. In large corporations, I've witnessed DEI programs and political correctness run amok. Sure, the corporate giants can afford these ideologies. They've got layers of bureaucracy to cushion the blow. And even when these programs hurt their productivity, they can hide it behind massive profit margins. But small businesses, they don't have that luxury. I've seen small businesses try to adopt these corporate policies and struggle instead of fostering a hardworking, merit-based environment, they started seeing workplace tension. Good workers were getting frustrated, bad workers were being protected, and it became all about checking boxes instead of getting the damn job done. Small businesses that succeed do so by doing what actually works, focusing on productivity, hiring based on skill, making sure the team works well and cohesively together as a unit. When you let political correctness or DEI take over your business, you are shooting yourself in the damn foot. What small businesses need to do is focus on merit. Hire the best people for the job, regardless of what box they check on some diversity form. Promote the people who are driving your business forward, not the ones who are checking all the politically correct boxes. And most importantly, create a culture where people are rewarded for their performance, not for their identity. Your business will thrive when you focus on results, when you stop worrying about how diverse your team looks or whether someone might get offended by a joke in the break room. Instead, focus on delivering a great product or service. You'll start seeing real success. Merit and hard work should be the foundation of your business, not DEI and political correctness. That's for losers. The reality is, at the end of the day, more small businesses will fail because they try to play by corporate rules than the ones that don't. They adopt ideas like DEI and political correctness, thinking it'll make them look progressive or forward-thinking, but in reality, it's just dragging them down. It's creating division in the workplace, killing innovation, and distracting them from the real priorities of running a business. If you want your small business to survive and thrive, stop trying to emulate the corporate giants and focus on what really matters, results, merit, and strong, unified teams. DEI and political correctness are luxuries that you can't afford, so drop the corporate playbook and get back to running your business like a business. If you're tired of seeing your business get drugged down by corporate nonsense, share this one with your boss. Let me know down in the comments how DEI and political correctness have affected your workplace, or let me know if you've seen another small business that's failing because of it. And hey, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe, because I'm going to keep calling out all of the bullshit that's holding us all back.